Aloha guys, my name is Kyle Swarensky. Uh, I'm currently a senior here at the University of Hawaii Manoa studying travel industry management, uh, so tourism and hospitality. I'm super excited to be here today to talk to you about my journey through Manoa, so uh, follow along, here we go. So actually, funny story, I originally came to UH Manoa intending to major in marine biology. Um, however, I'm not really sure what I was thinking. I, you know, kind of had this idea that, you know, Hawaii marine biology, yeah, that kind of works. Um, probably didn't help that I also thought that, you know, uh, studying marine biology was going to be more about sharks and stingrays and fish. I was like, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Um, I'll study that. No, no, it was uh, when I first took my entry level Ocean 201 class, I um, started learning about phytoplankton's microorganisms. I was like, mm, maybe not my kind of jive. So I was kind of like, skirt. Uh, decided to um, pursue something else. And it wasn't until one of my buddies, uh, who was in the travel industry management program said, hey, why don't you just take this class, entry-level class, see if you like it, and go from there. And so I took that entry-level class, uh, fell in love with it, and haven't looked back since. Um, but I'll be honest, one of the main reasons why I decided to come to UH Manoa um, was because of that bottom right picture. So if you guys haven't guessed uh, from that bottom right-hand picture on the last slide, uh, I'm a member, or I was a member of the men's swimming and diving team here at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Um, I actually just finished up my last season this year, but so I'm going to take a moment to talk about my athletic journey. All right, Division I swimming. So actually coming out of high school, I had a few options, but I quickly narrowed it down to two. I had this small Division Three school in Ohio, it was actually my sister's alma mater, and I had this Division I school in Hawaii. And swimming-wise, it kind of had to go along with that big fish in a small pond, or small fish in a big pond analogy. Um, but when it came time to make my decision, I ultimately made it on where I'd be happiest without athletics. Um, you know, every day is not guaranteed. I could get injured. I could lose my love or my passion for the sport. So I decided to make that decision without athletics. And if you guys can probably guess, Hawaii, Ohio, it really wasn't much of a decision at that point. So I decided to come to Hawaii. I don't regret making that decision one bit. Um, it's been an incredible journey, and I owe much of my college experience to being a part of the men's swimming and diving team here on campus. So like I said, I originally came to Hawaii because swimming in Division I school was always a dream of mine growing up. However, what I have come to realize is that I stayed because Hawaii has so much more to offer me than just athletics. You know, I've made Manoa mine um, through all the different experiences I've had the opportunity to enjoy. Some of them include um, like that top right picture. You know, there came a time in my college experience where, you know, I thought I was going to be an actor one day. I was going to make a lot of money. Um, decided to enroll in a theater 200 class. I'll tell you right now, it's pretty safe to say that I probably should not become an actor. Um, but some other experiences that I've been able to pursue, you know, I work on campus as an on-campus tour guide. So maybe you guys have seen me, maybe I'll give you guys a tour uh, with some of my coworkers there in that bottom right photo. Um, and okay, now that top left photo. Um, I know a lot of my friends, uh, when we graduated high school, if they went to some schools on the East Coast, on the West Coast, Southern California, they can get out of class um, at noon and then go to the beach, watch the sunset, whatever, take a study break. But guaranteed, um, none of my classes or none of my friends are um, getting out of class at noon and going and diving for taco or octopus and eating it for dinner that night. So that's something truly unique um, to Hawaii itself. And then lastly, that, that top middle photo, um, you know, taking advantage of everything that the university has to offer. That was just a Wednesday night uh, Zumba class that I took with my coworkers. It's just fun experiences like that that really make um, your college experience great. And so definitely making Manoa my own by getting involved in a lot of different things. So as you know, uh, I'm majoring in travel industry management. And a cool thing about the travel industry management program is that for me to actually graduate, I have to complete two 400-hour internships. And that's really cool. I know it seems like a lot, but it's really helpful because say I do my first internship in the airline business, I realize that's really not what I want to do. And then I do my second internship in the hotels, I realize, yeah, that's really, wanna, really where I want to start my career. At least I know now before I graduate, rather than graduating and going right into the airlines and I guess hating my life per se, right? Um, but so these pictures are of uh, my, my last internship. I interned at the Alima Hotel. Um, it was a rotating internship, got to visit a, bunch, a whole bunch of different departments in the hotel, get a whole 360 degree view 
um, of the operations side and it was truly amazing and um, you know the Tim School does a great job of setting students up for this success, this kind of success and so uh, I'm really grateful to the Tim program because I've actually been able to uh, further my career once I graduate. All right, guys, so just some tips from a graduating senior um, as I end this presentation. The first one is just to to learn. I know it's pretty simple, but be a lifelong learner. Uh, second one is find balance, and that balance is primarily between work and play. You know, know when it's time to work, when it's time to grind, but, you know, also have some fun as well. That third one, get involved. Super easy to be that kid cooped up in a dorm room, playing video games, watching makeup videos, I don't know. Um, but get involved and be active. Uh, that fourth one, stay rooted, stay true to who you are. You know, you just got to be yourself. People are going to love that for you. So it's pretty simple. Um, number five, get to know people who know the islands well. This is just a little personal bit of advice because I found people who uh, really know the islands well and it's really made my time here at Manoa uh, just that much better. And that last one is, you know, bottom line is college is all about what you make of it. And so if you learn, you find balance, you get involved, you stay true to who you are, and you just find some people who know the islands pretty well, um, you're going to have an amazing experience and one that uh, you'll never forget. I mean, I certainly haven't forgot. So, um, yeah, thanks, guys, for listening to my presentation. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it.